Welcome to GST 203 Philosophy and Logic, Module 4, Unit 4. This unit will guide to solve daily challenges in communication using stipulative, recursive, persuasive, precising, genuine, and difference definitions. Definitions Part 2. Stipulative definition. As a writer or speaker, you are free either to introduce a new word into language or to give a word a new meaning. Once you do that, you are stipulating. A stipulative definition, therefore, is one that a term, whether new or existing, is given a new meaning for the purpose of argument or discussion in a given context. Recursive definitions. This definition is sometimes referred to as inductive definition. It is a form of definition that defines a word in terms of itself, although in a useful way. Persuasive definition. Whenever a definition attempts to attach emotive meaning to the use of term and thereby confuse the literal meaning of the term, such definition is said to be persuasive. In other words, a persuasive definition is one that has its term defined in such a way as to be an argument for a position. It is deceptive in that it has the surface of a dictionary definition. Precising definition. Precising definition is a form of definition that is used in context where the vagueness of a word, term proposition, is unacceptable. It is developed to take care of the ambiguity or vagueness that some other forms of definitions, particularly stipulative and lexical definitions, may give up on. Definition by genus and difference. The definition by genus and difference also encompasses some other methods of definition, such as stipulative, precising, or real, theoretical, and lexical definitions. It is a kind of definition in which a word or concept that indicates a specific type of item is described first by a category, genus, then distinguished from other items in that category by differential. In conclusion, we have some other forms of definitions in this unit. However, it is important to note their limitations to definition in language. This is because English language contains finite number of words. Thus, any comprehensive list of definitions must either be circular or leave some terms undefined. Thank you. Please remember to refer to your course materials for further reading on this subject.